Honesty is often used as a measuring device for one's character. And this can be a good means to use to measure uh, another person's character because in relationships and uh, often professional environments, using malicious or deceptive lies can be extremely harmful to the parties involved, including yourself. Because of this, many people have idealized honesty, uh, saying that perhaps being honest always is better. However, uh, having a policy of complete honesty might not be the best thing uh, after all. We aren't even honest in the first place, even those who are considered to be honest people. Uh, they might twist their words or uh, the truth in order to avoid questions, such as perhaps spouses asking each other what they would like for dinner. And uh, despite one craving a steak, they say, I don't care, whatever you would like, dear. Or white lies, which might be used as something simple as getting out of a conversation uh, and other unimportant things. Even those who are considered or want to be virtuous might be uh, dishonest. Uh, virtue and dishonesty might often contradict. And not to set myself up as an uh, example of virtue, but oftentimes my grandmother will ask me to either mow her lawn, clean their house, uh, do yard work, or carry in wood when it's cold. And despite me personally never really wanting to do these things, out of a personal sense of responsibility and familial obligation, when she asks me these things, I put a smile on my face and say, I would love to help. Now, uh, responsibility, uh, which I consider to be an asset in being virtuous, uh, is contradicting with honesty there. And uh, being dishonest at times might actually make things easier as well. Consider in a breakup, uh, the party who's doing the breaking up uh, might say something like, it's not you, it's me, or I hope we can still be friends after this, despite probably those feelings not being completely true. Or even it's family movie night, and you've been searching Netflix and other streaming uh, platforms for a very long time, and you're getting sick of it, and your mother suggests that one rom-com you know you've just watched too many times this month. And despite you having those um, uh, misgivings towards the film, you uh, say, shrug your shoulders and say, yeah, that's fine. Uh, to make things easier because you're just sick of sitting there looking for a movie. Now, those are some small things. However, they're not honest. And having a complete sense of honesty would disregard those actions. To uh, We've discussed how um, we aren't even honest in the first place, and despite those who are considered to be honest and maybe even virtuous, uh, the honest, complete sense of honesty might contradict those things. And being dishonest and telling white lies might actually make certain situations easier. So I would urge you to take things with a grain of salt, and as though malicious and deceptive lies are obviously something you should try to avoid, a brutal sense of honesty exactly isn't great either.